Well, today is 427 2020. And the first store I go to is the Kroger grocery store. I go back there to check in my Grippos. And what do they say? First thing the lady checks me in says, You gotta have a mask on. <laughs> I didn't say a word. Because everybody's gotta have a mask. Everybody's got, we gotta wear a mask, you gotta wear a mask. I didn't say a word. Just kept talking. Hell, about five minutes went by before I ever said anything. Uh, and finally, like I said, about, about five minutes went by. I was getting heat. I could feel my insides just. I mean, I was about to freaking explode. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna tell me to wear a fucking mask. No. And so then another vendor come around there. He come around the corner. He said, look, mine broke. <laughs> I guess he went outside and went out in the store and tore off the ear part of it and uh, ended up acting like it broke so you wouldn't have to wear it because they was giving people masks in case you didn't have yours you know in case you don't have yours we got one for you went to the well anyway she finally you know says something else keeps on saying other things about the mask i said look i'm not wearing a mask i'm not sick i'm not wearing a mask damn chin's gonna dried out. This damn beard drying my skin out. Man, they gotta have something for that. But anyway, uh, yeah, she says, I told her, I said, I'm not wearing a mask. I'm not sick. I'm not wearing a mask. And she said, well, I said, furthermore, we got an email last week saying that we highly recommend that you wear a mask. I'm gonna highly recommend you kiss my ass because I'm not wearing no mask. Period. So, around the corner comes the manager. I thought, oh, fuck, here we go. I'm here, I get kicked out of this store. It won't be the first time. Been kicked out of Walmart's, been kicked out of Dollar General's, been kicked out of Five Stars been known to be kicked out but anyway he walked right past me and went by the because we was talking about hey yeah she brought up a good point if you sneeze if you sneeze you're not any smart person it's not gonna if you're wearing a mask it's not gonna sneeze in the fucking mask you're gonna take the mask off and sneeze which defeats the purpose of having the fucking mask on. Right. They're at five star. And come up to their location on Veronica Dewey Drive. And they cleared the intersection. And they're down on Veronica uh, now. Yeah, defeats the purpose. Simple. Coughing. I guess you could cough in the mask. But if you're going to sneeze, you're not going to sneeze in the mask. I'm trying to back up my trailer here without getting run over. I guess the work finally quit raining for two fucking days. Everybody and their goddamn brothers out on the road. 30 fucking thousand people in the town. 29 of them's fucking out on the road this morning. My damn poor mother, she she's at Kroger's checking meat prices because meat's gonna go up. Meat. Meat's gonna go up. My God. Quit eating meat then. You ain't got to have meat to survive. Fuck meat. Go kill your own meat. You got guns? Need to be buying ammo to the fucking meat. But anyway, so nothing happened. I thought after that manager was, was over at the corner or behind me and she was talking about sneezing and whatever, and I finally got my paperwork and I finally got checked in. Set that there. Finally got my paperwork and I finally got checked in. And, uh, so I quickly go out to the floor, put the stuff I had out on the shelves. I had to check my other shelves to see what I needed. I got it. I thought, well, 
Well, if he's gonna say something, if I come back in, so he didn't come. He didn't never. He, he bought my. Long story short, he never he never come back to me. Never said nothing to me. I guess she, I'm assuming. I almost 100 percent know. She told him that I'm not wearing a mask, and hopefully she told him that I had an email saying that I highly recommend it. But you can highly recommend to kiss my ass. Maybe the title of this uh, video. I highly recommend you kiss my ass. That's a lot of words. Anyway, uh, so I go to the next Kroger's in town. Go in there. Nobody said a word to me. Uh, one of the managers I graduated with, uh, played basketball with in middle school and stuff, he was wearing a mask. He tells me he knows somebody in Georgia saying that they're going to have a $100, $100 fine for people that's out in public not wearing masks. People, it's just fucking ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. I got a fucking vent. It's fucking stupid. He said, what are you going to do? It's going to come to the point where you're going to have to wear a mask. I said, I'm not wearing a fucking mask. I'm not. I said, Barry, if you don't fucking stand up for something, you're going to fall off or anything. And you're already falling on your fucking knees for a goddamn paycheck. Don't pay your mortgage. Don't pay your bills. Whatever. I mean, I guess you got to pay your electric or pay, you know, don't pay your, your cable or your internet. Don't do without it. I don't know. This is fucking crazy, people. But... I gotta stop ranting. I gotta get back to work if I'm allowed to even fucking work anymore. I own my own goddamn business, but I guess I'm gonna have to hire somebody to fucking do the work for me. I don't know. So, but they ain't even making customers wear masks in the Kroger's or the Walmarts. So, if they ain't making the customers, why the hell are they making the people work there or, or vendors? Oh, to be continues, all I know.